Let us turn back now to the portion we've read. Prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 49, reading again from verse 4 to 7. Then said I, then I said, then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with, with the Lord and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Then said the, said the Lord, Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful. <clears throat> These words that the Lord enables, notice uh, the end of verse 3, Thou art my servant, O Israel, whom I will be, in whom I will be glorified. And the whole of this text is taken up with this.